Hey up YouTube, I'll get round in front of the camera, right? Hey up YouTube. Right, so we're back. We're back, we're back again. I'm not in frame, I'm behind the car. Back again, and we're back on Staley Wall, Immingham Wall, the wall, as it were. And I've come down with, I've come down to meet, well, I've come down to fish, but I'm also meeting Mr. Young here. He uh, he asked me if I'd like to come and see, come fish down on the wall one one day with him. We finally got it together, and we finally uh, we finally here. I'm finally, you know. So yeah, we're back again, or I'm back again. Told you two videos in one week. I'll roll credits, and I'll see you in a sec. <laughs> So then, back down here in Walt. Bit windy, bit windy again. Still a bit windy. It's blowing straight at us. It's kind of knacking me, me, me casting up a little bit. I was hoping to get a bit of distance. Hopefully, it'll either swing round to round behind us, or it'll uh, calm down. I was hoping to get some big baits out at a bit of range to chase the elusive decent-sized cod. So I've got. A two up pulley panel, or well, obviously a pulley panel, out on the pen rod. That's the one on the right hand side at the moment, closest to you, with black and squid on it. And that's a, got a 3 0 and a 2 0 panel. On the left, got a three up flapper. I've upped the hook size from what I was using when I went flatty bashing at the weekend from a size one, no, size four they were, sorry, to a 1 0 up tide. Uh, just because the tide pull's a bit stronger here. Uh, and that's got ragworm on it. Ragworm that is hanging on for dear life. It's seen better days. It is nearly a week old. I did buy it on Saturday. Um, with a plan to keep it until Thursday, if it kept until Thursday. I have got sort of backup black, black, back black and things like that, should I need it. That seemed like it was a good one. That seemed all right, that. I didn't hear it. It's just, it's just very windy and I haven't got enough lead on it. So we'll leave it as it is. It seems to have come in to see me. That's what I mean. You stood up here and then all of a sudden, as soon as your lead gets about 10 yards out, it slows right down, doesn't it? Oh yeah. And this thing has decided to take off. 
happen. See, it's why I, I just don't want to take the leap to multiply it. I wouldn't if I was doing what you do next. Yeah. Um, I've got a couple. I don't like growing food like but I have to say you're not wrong when he says you don't have the time when you're filming to fat about like this. Yeah, I can, I can, I can, yeah. Well, it could be either or it could be me. Oh no, there you are. So what is this? This is your second time here? Third or fourth. Third or fourth. But, um, this is the first time I've actually been with somebody who knows the place. And I think they make a huge... Well, I know it. I don't catch any fish, but I know it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean the only the only sort of hint and tip I ever really think is, is where, you know, is you've seen it at relatively low tide, so you know there's all this weed and stuff. Yeah. So you know that once you're about five ten yards out, you need to then start. Give it some stick. Yeah, get it up over the weed. It's not so bad once the water's all the way in. No, no. But I mean, uh, I, I, last time I was here, I was 28, I think. 27. And what what size tide was that? Oh, that was a six and a half. Oh, so, yeah. So a decent pipe. Yeah. And apparently there's a there's a pipe that runs. There is, yes. And I caught it. Yeah. And apparently it's quite a way out. And I have no idea how I caught it because I don't cast that pipe. <laughs> Actually, that's not quite true. I can, but not anymore. Yeah. All right, yeah. Twenty-five pounds an hour. Yeah. <laughs> in 1985. Bloody hell. Yeah, bit, a bit rich for my blood, that. Yeah, but you know, within within an hour, I'm you've doing it you've taken a lot, a lot in. Better, you know. So, oh, for fuck's sake, bloody thing. Did it happen again? No. It just catches up with itself because I haven't got it adjusted properly. Ah. Uh. Think you might uh, you think you might grab me this time. Well not unless you were less than ten feet away from No, but you went it's blown across. I think this might be a good time to put my brake away back on. <laughs> there you are. Well, I got you. Yeah. You're free. I was going to recast this anyway. Uh, to be honest, I saw. <laughs> I've heard a lot of good things about the slosh, though. It's meant to be a good reel. Well, my weights have had a wash now, that's all I wanted. So that's fine, Pete. Yeah. I do sometimes think that there are fish underneath there that are waiting to turn up. And we were down the road, everybody comes on. What you got? Or what you not got? Hey? What you not got? I forgot my reel. Oh, right. My fish hook. I've got a pen. What, one of these? No. Well, it's a surf blaster. Yeah. It's about 90 or whatever. The what, what? It's an early one. Oh, right, yeah. A one or a two? No. So it's not easy to get two numbers on it, really. <laughs> Yeah. I say I can't help you. I don't, I don't bring. I don't bring a spare one anymore. 
Yeah, that wind's pretty rough. Once you get about 10 yards out over the wall. Yeah. But you literally, it's weird, you can literally see your lead shooting along and then all of a sudden it just slows down and drops. But we've got a, I think, where's my phone? Let me check. I think, what have we got tide-wise today? I think it's about 7, 7, 2, something like that. It is a what? What? Something like that. Although you tend to find, once you actually check, once you're down here, it's not, not what it was. So what we got? Oh, yeah, seven and a half. Yeah. At half six. Later than I thought it was. I thought it was half five for some reason. It's rough as fuck. It's, it's when you're bringing them up over rocks and concrete, smashes them to buggery. It'll be when you're nested. Because it'll, it'll have slammed it down in concrete that's just there. But I'm just this, yeah, I'm going to have to up the lead size on this close in one. Normally the close in one is the one that stays put. Not today. No. Oh, I've caught some weed, I think. That's probably why it was shooting across. Oh, do I have the first fish of the day? No, I haven't. I think it's, I think it might be your rig. Well, it's a rig. Do you have a yellow shot? You don't have a yellow shot leader on, do you? Oh. No, and my rig, my rod never ever really got slack. Hey. So I had a, I had a, I had a, I had a rig and it let go just as it hit the rocks. So it's came and slapped me in the face. There's one for the outtakes. Did it behave for you that time, did it? It did. Good, good. It, yeah, it could be. I might have to jump over the wall and grab that rig, otherwise it's going to cause some problems later on. How far in did I get it? It's there. You see the yellow line. Oh, I know. I've stacked it no end of times over there. Stay put this time. That's better. Right, guys. Right, YouTube. I've not uh, not done much speaking to you, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the camera around, as I normally do. 
That's going to take me a minute to line this up. It's a new tripod, new angles and all that. And we'll do a we'll do a rod tip time lapse. Now then, apologies guys and girls, I'm not spending too much time with you tonight, but I'm just having a, a real good laugh with uh, with Mr Young there. It's, it is nice to be out with somebody on the wall, I must admit. Um, it is bitterly cold. The wind is pretty damn bad. Uh, and so far, I don't think either of us have had so much as a sniff. But we're having a good laugh which is more so what fishing is about, isn't it? So, after I tangled it up, Mr Young has dropped down to one rod. Um, I was going to drop down to one rod, but purely simply because I needed to put heavier weights on and the Akios really doesn't like much over five ounces. It will do it, I just, it just doesn't like it. It tends to be hard work to cast. So, but on that last cast, I went round the back of the car and I sent it from the other side of the car and it seems to for the most part, I've stayed put. Oh I mean, yes, it travelled, but it uh, it didn't travel too far. So I'm going to stick with it for a little bit longer. It is getting darker. In fact, the, the, the darkness is coming in quite quickly, actually. Um, and I've only brought the, the the light that goes on the top of the camera, so I'm not too sure how much more I'll be filming. But we're about 45, 50 minutes away from high tide. So as I was just explaining to uh, to Adrian there, I was just saying, uh, you know, now really is the time to be on top of on top of your bait changes and uh, and getting you getting your bait out there, really keeping fresh bait out there. Um, now is sort of coming up to the witching hour. I also in the time lapse. <laughs> 
got a massive wind knot and then well first of all I pulled in both of these let me just cast this out give me a sec guys Yeah, first of all, I brought in both of his lines, pulled them both in. And then I went to cast back out and got a massive wind knot. He then went to cast back out again and also got a knot. Oh, 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 I've caught myself up good there. What have I done there? There we go. Um, so I had to cut my line, retie it, which is a two minute job. But it's just been all sorts of fun and games. So far, neither of us have done it, hit any major snags so far. The weed isn't terrible. but it is out there, as you can probably see. Um, but we're coming up to the turn, say we're coming up to high tide, so it will be time for me to start sort of properly keeping an eye on my rod. It is busy down here tonight. There is a fisherman in, in every bay as far as I can see. Uh, and as per usual there is some that have already packed up and gone home each to their own I am still planning to head to Bonkers Bank at the weekend that is still the plan. And I will be hunting, or hoping, I'm not going to say hunting, I'm not going to say targeting, but I will be hoping to start my bass account for the year. So if you have any suggestions on baits, on rigs, for bass, let me know in the comments and perhaps I will find time or perhaps I will have the gear in to give them a go. I don't currently actually have that much in in the way of terminal tackle. I didn't think it was going to drop this dark that quickly. I have to lift everything out of the boot and see if I've got any of my lights left in the in the car. Come on, travel. That's a bit better. That's a bit better. I think the only positive so far today is there's not really any crabs yet. I've gone and said it now, haven't I? Should think before I speak. But yeah, so we're coming up to, to which an hour now. So an hour up, an hour before high which is exactly where we are now. And an hour after, in theory, is when this place fishes the best. Or at least so I'm told. Uh, 
so yeah uh, don't forget guys if you if you are new to the channel and you have made it this far into the video please do press that like and subscribe button it really does help me out uh, some new stickers on the box actually i'll show you so a couple of new stickers from from fellow youtubers we've got oh we've got my new one that i designed at home um in vinyl we've got donald wild fishing and rock hobber northern ireland we just did a bit of it's a bit of a sticker swap uh but yeah enough of me ranting guys i'll put you back on the rod tips um back on time lapse back on the rod tips i might actually leave you panned out a little bit I might leave you back here a little bit oh yeah you can't see the rod tips hang on hmm i'm just trying to find a decent angle where you can still see the rod tips and where you're going to be able to see if I'm doing anything, you know, like when I'm bringing them in and things like that. But yeah, so it's time for a bit more care and attention paid to the fishing. So I'll pop you on time lapse. And unless something happens, there you shall stand. Because what you're going to find is I'm going to go on to some more rapid bait changes. So I'll see you in a bit.
it's not a blank guys it's not a blank sorry i'm trying to rush because obviously i'm trying to get the fish off the hook No, I'll have to go through gills. Come on, let me in. Come on. There we go. It's not turning. There we go come a bit far now it's out it's out there we go guys so not a blank that's actually that's not a bad little flounder that let's get her back there we go let's get her back Yeah, it's gone. Is it gone? It's gone. I tried getting it onto your hook as you were reeling it in. <laughs> there we go. We did actually see that. We both we both saw that really on there, didn't we? Don't often see a flatty bite, but we saw that. We did actually see that one. Uh, and we left it on there. Or I left I I I made a decision to leave it. Which hook was that on? Was that on the top hook as well? It was. It's unusual. Um, Was it on the top hook or was it on the bottom? I would have expected it on the bottom hook. So not a flatty, no cod yet. But we're just about at high tide now. We're just about at high tide. So uh, we'll bait back up. That was on rag. That was on my rag that I've, uh, I've been looking after avidly for a week. And to be honest, it hasn't fared right well. It's, uh, there's not much movement in it anymore, but hey, listen, it's caught me a, it's caught me a fish. It's not a blank. I shan't complain. <clears throat> I was starting to think that fish at the wall was a bit of a myth. See them in other people's videos, I never bloody catch them. But there we go. We're off the mark. I'm hoping, to be fair, the bite actually shows up on the time lapse. Because um, the initial bite wasn't a bad bite, actually. It was a, it was a fair chunk of movement. But I don't mind what I catch as long as I catch. I'd like to have a cod. Never really hear of much in the way of bass coming out down here. So the hope is to open my bass account at the weekend. Get this recent we'll bring in the other one and we'll put fresh bait on it because we're now at the top of the tide when we really want to be watching as rods and baiting as rods quite efficiently
that wind has calmed down a little bit as well, which is nice. And it's casting a little easier. This one's slack as well. I've not been watching my lines. Ooh. Slack and it's heavy. Get me hopes up here. No, it's just released. Hey, no. <laughs> No, it's gone light now. Uh, there she is. Oh. Oh dear, I was not ready for it being so cold, or dark for that matter. We both, we both thought the tide was at about five o'clock tonight. How wrong were we? We were off by an hour and a half. Oh, how we both thought it was five o'clock, but we did. See what we get this time. Oh, bluey this time. Right, that's them set back up. I'll put you back on time lapse. So we're off the mark. Ed has definitely had some knocks. Definitely seen some knocks on his rod. So I'm hoping there is some big fish out there because you're big, big hooks, big fish, big baits, aren't you? <laughs> big ish. Are you big? Have you got big hooks and big baits on? Not the moment. No, he just swapped out. Yeah. I think it's a two knot, maybe. Two, yeah. With a couple of black leather. Yeah. Well, that was that. That flounder was a greedy one on a one o, with a rag on it. And the other rod before I decided that it was going to bed, um, that had a huge, massive hook on it. Was it? Yeah, a great big mustad with the, the barbs on the shank. I can't remember the name of them. Bet holders. Yes. Well, it worked ever so well. <laughs> it held the bait. Yeah, yeah, it held okay. the bait. Right, so I'll put the camera back on time. So I thought you were big hooks. Well, you've, you've had some knocks. You've definitely seen some knocks, haven't you? Hmm. Oh, yeah. So they are out there. They just uh, they seem to be a bit shy. They don't want to come out in cold. That's what it is. I think you're not wrong. <laughs> but 
yes, I'll pop the camera back on time lapse. It is now dark, so it's going to be one of those scenarios where it's just going to be an offy onny, starty stoppy job. I am hoping that this video is going to be out tomorrow. In fact, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. I've got a fair bit on at work. I shouldn't really be editing videos when I'm at work, but I do sometimes. Um, so yeah, don't forget, like, share and subscribe, do all that good stuff. I'll pop you back on the rod tips and set another time lapse going. There we go guys, fish number two, and I'm not even sure how it took the hook. Tiny, tiny little whiting. You could use that as pike bait. We'll put it back. To be honest, I'm a, I don't think it's gonna go back. I think it's gonna float, but that is a whiting for you. Right, and this one, the other rod has gone really tight, but I'm gonna leave that and I'll bait back up and I'll resend first. So, yeah, guys. With it being so dark, as I've already said, I'll pop you back on, straight back on time lapse. Um, there's not a great deal to talk about, I'll show you really. Um, so I'll pop you back on time lapse and I'll get baited up and back out. I'll see you shortly.
it isn't. Right then, ladies and gentlemen, that is it from me tonight. Um, we call it, we are calling it a night early. There's no two ways about that. Um, but the reason being is it is neither of us have got any leads that can all bottom. It is the toe is that strong tonight. Um, I've put a seven ounce on, which I never really use. And even that was whipped around in four or five minutes. Um, to the point where it was pretty much washed in. So that's pretty much called an end of play today. But I'm not going home empty handed. I'm sorry that it is. But That's the way it goes sometimes, isn't it, folks? Oh, that is the way it goes. So, yeah, I'll keep this short because it's mighty cold as well. Stay safe, tight lines, like, share and subscribe. I'll see you again at the weekend. I'm out again day after tomorrow, Saturday. Hopefully all things being well. Um, I'll be down on Bonkers Bank. Hopefully, I did my first stamp to my to my bass book. Um, the weekend after, not too sure. It's going to be a small tide. I might head over the other side of the Humber. We'll have to wait and see. But stay safe, tight lines, and I'll see you later. Mm -hmm.